Hey, Mech Warriors, welcome to Bad Ben's Battle Mechs. I'm Bad Ben. So, the other day, or actually, probably a few months ago, I was checking out the internet for Battletech terrain ideas, and it led me to <coughs> Sarna.net. Um, and if you actually come over here to downloads and media and cardstock, you get a whole page full of PDFs um, that look like this. And these are just, you print them out. Um, you can just fold them as paper and glue them into little terrain buildings, but I'm actually going to glue it onto a bit of cardboard first, just to give it a little bit more stability. Um, yeah. So all you have to do, if you go, you know, you can open any file. It takes you to a page that looks like this, and open it up. And you get something like this. They all don't all look um, the same. Uh, some look like this or like this, like actually like real buildings. This looks more like, I don't know. Um, this is another one I like. Uh, looks pretty nice. You get other ones that look like this. It, I think this is taken from like uh, Mech Warrior 4, possibly, and that's why it's all kind of blurry like that. Uh, then you get other ones that look like they were just made in Microsoft Paint, um, like this. And then you can also get really, really complicated, like origami things like this. That's that are like, I'll, I'm definitely not going to be making this, the Calliope turret. Anyway, I don't want to make that one or that one either, but I might want to make this one and maybe this one and maybe this one. We'll see. We'll see how much cardboard I have. Today was uh, paper garbage, and I was looking, and they've already taken the paper garbage, unfortunately. But I do have a little bit of stock that I can use. We'll just see how much. All right, so I'm just going to print those out, and you'll want to uh, fit it to page. I guess 100% scale works just fine. Um, yeah. And print that one, and I'll print this one, and this one. Uh, yeah. And I'll just mention, it's worth, it's worth having a pretty decent uh, printer to do this. I tried this, actually, when I first found these a couple months ago, I tried it on my old printer, and my old printer was really crappy, so um, I went and bought a new one. Well, we needed a new one anyways. Uh, I don't know what ET2850, it's it's like a EcoJet. I'm not selling printers here. The EcoJet works just, just fine uh, if you want to get one. I don't even know who makes that. Epson, maybe? Um, doesn't matter. Uh, but a decent printer is going to help you out for sure. So... I'll go and get these and get some cardboard and supplies and so on and see you in a moment. All right, so I have my pictures printed out. There's one. That's the first one. And the next one. I have an old pizza box. That's what I'm going to... Use I've already used this to just as a you know protection for the table when I was painting, but no reason I can't use this to make little buildings. So uh, yeah, I've got my Mod Podge. I'm going to put a layer of Mod Podge on here and then stick it down. And um, yeah, one thing about Mod Podge, it can make it 
wrinkle a little bit. Um, so you just want to, you know, make sure it stays as a few wrinkles aren't going to kill the thing. It's not going to be the the end of the world if there's a few wrinkles in it. I'm not too concerned. Um, but yeah, maybe try to get some wrinkles out if you can, or use a different type of glue, like maybe a glue stick. I don't, I'm not a fan of glue sticks, but they are drier, and I don't think it would make the um, make the paper wrinkle so much. Maybe I don't know. I don't have a glue stick, unfortunately. I have Mod Podge, so I'm gonna get to that right now. So everything dried nicely, not too many wrinkles. One of the main things about, one of the best things to do to avoid wrinkles is don't use so much Mod Podge. You really only need a thin layer. If, it, if it's still white, if it's not clear everywhere, then you've, then you probably put too much. Just spread it out very thinly. It sticks. This stuff will not come off. It doesn't matter. You, just a little bit is all you need. And what I am going to try out is actually to give these buildings uh, another thin coat on top that's just going to protect them, protect the paper a little bit. You really don't need a lot. And it only took, it took less than a half an hour to dry. It's another benefit of putting on very little. And once it's stuck to the bottom, to the cardboard, the stuff that you put on top probably won't make it wrinkle. If you don't put too much, probably. I really don't know. Anyway, whoop de whoop Real quick. And then this one. And that should just about do it, I think.
Yeah. Now, more drying, but it really shouldn't take long. Less than a half hour, I imagine. So I'll see you then. So everything is dry now. Um, and it's time to cut it out. And I'm going to be lazy and use some scissors. You probably get a better result if you were to use like an exacto blade and cut these out like really exactly however uh i don't have a sharp exacto knife here so i'm just gonna cut everything out with my scissors Everything's cut out. And it turns out I do have an X-Acto knife, uh, just not a sharp X-Acto knife. I know I could break this blade off and then the other one, but actually I'm going to use this uh, specifically because it's not really sharp. It's been used a whole bunch of times. And what I'm just going to do is on the front side, just follow the line that I want to fold 
And I'm not cutting anything. It's too dull and it's not even going through the Mod Podge. And that just helps to fold the cardboard precisely. See? Now I'm going to fold these all up and I'm going to glue them all. And you can watch that.
So, uh, yeah, here they are, uh, all finished. Some better than others. I would say this one probably turned out the best. It doesn't really matter. In certain places, you can see the pizza box still showing. You can trim that up. I'll trim that up with some scissors. This one, you know, the, there's. I, I could just paint that. You can see a lot of the white. I could have done a better job folding and gluing. But I'm like, actually pretty happy with them. They're they're sturdy. You know, they're made out of cardboard. They're glued well. Ooh, there's a corner that's just a little raised. Shoot me some glue in there. Ooh, too much. Make sure to wipe away the excess glue as best you can. Try not to burn yourself. With the hot glue. Yeah, and what do they look like next to a few mechs? All right. We got ourselves a city battle going on. Marauder versus a Phoenix Hawk. And then a King Crab comes around the corner. Oh, can't see him on the camera. There he is. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. It's not bad. And there's so many files there. there there's, there's so many more uh, that you can build. And it was a lot of fun. And I could do that with my kids, probably. The gluing, the hot gluing is a little uh, difficult. You can see, at first I was going to use uh, Mod Podge to stick them together, and then I thought, uh, well, I'm going to have to sit here for like 10 minutes holding each piece as the Mod Podge dries, and that's stupid. So instead, I got my trusty glue gun. It's just a cheap one. I don't even know who makes it. ooh -hoo, Hot Melt Starter. I think that's how you pronounce UHU, -U, you know, the glue company. Uh, any glue gun will do, obviously. So, yeah, that's the end of uh, this episode. That one could turn out a little better. It's not terrible. But, you know, just for some really quick, fun crafting ideas. There you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. See you later.